Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecy found in the Holy Scriptures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's name, and Yahweh Shah is his son name, who the real ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And Baha Racha Kodash is in the Holy Spirit, the way we're able to understand these prophecies and parables of the Scriptures and live it in truth, sincerity, and charity, and worship the Father and Spirit in truth. Double honor to our elders and apostles, the great millstone, the holy apostles, back to them, the reincarnation, the holy man of the Bible. Shalom to all your brothers, likewise, pushing his word out and the true doctrine, as it should be taught wherever you may be. Now, I just want to go into this lesson real quick. Uh, I had a couple scriptures, but I was more so meditating on the topic how, uh, man, hey, sooner or later, man, the whole nation of Israel is going to have to get right, okay? Because that is the promise, man, okay? Our Lord and Savior died and did what he did. And he's, he's coming back to set up his kingdom, man. Okay, and the elect men that he chose are going to make it. Rather by death or whether they don't uh, they don't die. Okay, but two-thirds going to be cut off. And they're going to come back in the kingdom and they right, man. And all nations are going to bow, man. And they're going to serve you. How about Shemal Shai? And his uh and, and the nation of Israel. And knowing that, man, okay, because it is true, it's gonna come to pass, just as we went in slavery, just as the so-called white man got set up and came into power. These things are true, man. So Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. He said, I would I would not meet thee as a man. He's coming back. And scripture says he's coming with clouds, and those that pierce him gonna see, man. So if these things is gonna happen, what shall we do, man? The scriptures tell us exactly what we should do. And I just want to go into the topic like, hey, we, we got a head start. You know, and, and especially if we the elect, because that, that's the only thing that matters, man, being elect. It don't matter how long you, you uh, it don't matter how long uh, when you just came in the truth. But if you part of elect, that's what really matters, man, because guess what? You had the head start to rehearse the righteous acts, which we are doing, man. Rehearsing righteousness. Practicing it. It is Proverbs 15, verse 9. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto Yahweh. And that is the name of the Lord, man. And then the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So majority of people on this face of the earth, and specific, uh, uh, specifically the Israelites, they're wicked, man. Why? Because they choose to follow who? The rulers and elites and things they see. It say he that hated it's a salakia, but he loveth him that follow after righteousness. So Yahweh Bashem Al Shah love you if you follow after righteousness. What's well, righteousness? Faith in Yahweh Shah. Knowing that he will deliver us, knowing that he will forgive us if we repent, confess, and put away our wicked uh deeds, man. Examine ourselves, push this word out, live it, teach it. You know, grow in it, no matter how long it takes, man. That's righteousness in the eyes of Yahweh Shah. Making sacrifices. It says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. So these, these people hate correction, man. Because they what? Forsaketh the true way. And knowing that, man, hey, Yahweh Bashem Shah corrected us, man. To what? Follow righteousness. To give us that head start. Because sooner or later, everybody going to have to get right and follow what? The will of Yahweh. Yahweh Shah said in Matthew 6, Let thy will be done. Everybody got to be obedient. So why not start now? That's how we got that head start. The who? Yahweh Shai. It says, he that hated reproof shall die. If you hate reproof, if you hate correction, when you go into that word reproof, man, it goes into discipline, man, chastisement. Okay? Why? Because we was wicked and we need it. So we could be better, man. But if you hate it, you're going to die. That's why we, that's the whole, that's the whole deal that's going on, man. It ain't righteousness of ourselves. It ain't something we came up with. It ain't another religion. Hey, this is correction. This is a reproof of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. This is the way of life. He teaching us righteousness, man. This Psalms 25, verse 1. A Psalm of David unto thee, O Yahweh, do I lift my soul, lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let not me be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. And Yahweh Bashem Al Shah is going to let us triumph over our enemies. Yeah, it's their time to rule. It's their time to have fun. It's their time to live it up. 
It's their time to get all the good benefits, man, because the Lord get them the desires of their heart. But Yahweh Bashem al Shai gave us the name. He gave us the understanding of what's going on and what's to come. And he gave us the blueprint of how to make it out. That's more precious than anything this world can offer. So at the end of the day, we're going to triumph over our enemies, man. We're going to reign and rejoice. If we them men, if we endure, there's no gray areas with the Lord. He's not a man that he shall lie. Verse three, yeah, let none that wait on thee be ashamed that we got to wait, which is patience, which is sufferance, which is part of enduring. Let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause. So people that's just doing shit, man, especially that know better. Okay. Hey, they, uh, they're going to be ashamed. Why? Because Yahweh Bashem al is going to deny them. Yahweh Bashem al is going to destroy them, man. Yahweh Bashem al is going to let you know your life was vain. You did all that wickedness for nothing. You blast me in the Holy Spirit for nothing, man. You fell out the truth for nothing. You're going to be ashamed. You treated the man of the Lord like crap. You're going to be ashamed, man. The scripture said, doth not appear what we shall be, but when he uh, appeared, we shall be with him, man. Whether we uh, survive the seed or whether we get, uh, whenever our end come, man, when our uh, life is cut short. But guess what? We're going to live and reign and rejoice and live eternally, man. It says, show me thy ways, O Yahweh, teach me thy paths. And that's what's happening. Yahweh Basham al is teaching us his paths. Okay, he, he's leading us in the way of righteousness, according to Proverbs 15, chapter. Okay, and we're being taught how to serve him, how to be right. Because it's going to happen in the kingdom, man. So we're going to have that extra experience, man. Okay. We're going to be hopefully elect the special edition, man. Cut from a different cloth. Because everybody's going to get right. Everybody, uh, when I say everybody, I mean the Israelites. They're going to get right, man. They're going to come back and they're right, man. They're going to enjoy everything, man. But you got to deal with the everlasting shame, man, and contempt. As Daniel 12 say, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day, and we must wait. Say, so remember, O Yahweh, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. And that's what Yahweh Bashem al is going to do, man. This judge is 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the place of drawing water is talking about slavery. Hold on, Salak. Uh, yeah, my bad. I had to pause it real quick. But yeah, reading on, it says, um, Judges 5 and 12, it says, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the place of drawing waters, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. And his name is Yahweh. So that's the point. We rehearsing the righteous acts. He teaching us his ways to walk in the righteous paths. Okay, to, to forsake the things that is not expedient or profitable. So what? So we can receive the everlasting life. And it starts with him giving us the correction and the reproof, man. It says, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of Yahweh go down to the gates. And the gates is the public place, man. When we go out in the highways and hedges and teach the word of the Lord, okay, when not only do we teach it, but we live it, man, and examine ourselves, these are righteous acts which lead unto salvation, man. It's Colossians 3 and 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. So we must put on the elect. That's how you practice. That's how you rehearse. That's the head start that we getting above everybody else, man. Because, again, everybody's going to get right sooner or later, but we got a head start. And if we put on the elect and do the things that the elect will do, we're going to get the elect benefits, man. And that's the VIP special golden edition, man, out of, out of all Israel, cut from a different cloth. This Philippians 2, verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And what did Yahweh Shai do? He overcame death. He overcame his flesh. He overcame the wicked world, man. He, for, he forsake things. Why? So he can live eternally, man. So he can have power to rule over nations, to have land, wealth, riches, multiple women. Hey, this is what we labor and hope for, man. It's going to happen. Again, hey, we went in slavery. That happened. That is a known fact. Hey, we going to get up out of here, too, on them chariots. That is a known fact. This Philippians 3 and 15. Let us, therefore, as many be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything be otherwise, man, that God shall reveal even this unto you. And that word perfect means complete, whole, man, not lacking nothing. Hey, we're going to be perfected, man, when them laws written in us, when we get them new bodies, man. 
All the hey, all, all, all the stuff they got in them uh uh Marvel comics, okay, the animes, the Dragon Ball Z, they get that out the scriptures, man. Hey, we're we gonna get them new bodies. We're gonna get them downloads, man. But hey, we must uh we must suffer now, man. You know, and if it hey, the most high is gonna make it known who's uh, about his will and work and who's not, man. Then the scriptures say there's gonna be people calling the name that ain't gonna get it, man. Why? Because they blaspheme the Holy Spirit. They lied to the people. They sold out. They 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 say they're Israelites, but deep down inside, they on some bullshit behind closed doors, man. As scripture says, better if you not known the ways of the Lord, man, than to come in come in His truth and bullshit. And hey, you gonna get a worse judge than a person that didn't know it, that didn't come in it. No, but hey, Lord will hope that less was out of. And matter of fact, I'm ending with this. This Philippians two and ten. Then it's the point that the, at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And, and that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of God, Yahweh. So everybody going to confess, everybody going to get in line. So why not do it now and wait later, man? And there's much benefits to that. And that's the whole point of this lesson. So, you know, Lord will hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory honor to Yahweh, Bahashami Yahweh Shai. Double honor to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all you brothers pushing his word out, laboring, and waiting on the rewards, man. Shalom.